Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And I did do what I said I would do last episode. Oh boy, yeah. sorry for the visuals, but we actually can't leave the planet. So something is going on, and my game keeps crashing every time I try to leave the planet. Now, I tried with... Now, I did update the mod. I thought it was something conflicting, maybe, with the new update. It happens from time to time. It is absolutely normal uh, that things do go wrong. Then, I downgraded to what I used to use, which was the previous version of the mod, and it still kept crashing. So, we're gonna have to build a portal here. Because I'm thinking that this might be an issue with just this specific world. I have had this happen before when we were doing the living ship. So this means building all of these here and potentially never returning again. So we're going to need a solar power because that is the only thing we'll really be using. I maybe should build a battery. You know, I will in case I do accidentally come here one day. Uh, did I? Yeah, okay, I did. I did. Yeah, it is storing power. That's really good. One is more than enough to power everything here. I will rename the base. Uh, it will be uh, Crash Colony. Crash Colony. Colony with a Y, not with an I, because it's, it's the proper way to do it. And I'm going to try to go back to our base, which is not the HQ. Oh, we were in El Capalos, the HQ I built in Ascentium. Um, Enter name here, yeah. Oops. Well, anyway, uh, let's go to the HQ, I suppose, to our sort of previous base, I suppose you could say, and uh, let's go there. Now, the game shouldn't crash here. I am pretty sure there is just some issue with that specific world. So, yeah, there's that. Um, anyway, yes, uh, I did check out how many glitches there are. There are 11. I, there were a couple that I forgot, definitely a couple I forgot. In fact, one of my favorites, which is the Light Fisher, is as well something that I had forgotten. And the bubbles. The bubbles I really do like. Hmm. So maybe we don't need all of them. That is entirely true. Or I could eventually get all of them. That'll take time, though. Uh, it is... It's based on luck, whether we get them or not, really, because we do need to find the right planet. Sorry if it's a little bit of a long loading screen, but it'll give it gives me a little bit of time to explain, you know. Yep, you see, no crash. Uh, for some reason, this... Right, that's how it's supposed to be. For some reason, we don't have power here again. I don't know why. I, I'm pretty sure I increased the power supply. Ugh. I'll have to build it to, to, to build more power supplies sometime. Oh no, this is a green world now. What? Oh, it's not a green world. It just has green now on it. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. It has light fissures, but it's not an anomalous world, so we should not be finding uh, any of any light fissures here. But that's that's fine. Oh, do I need health? Apparently, no. All right, let's go to the ship and let's try and leave the planet. Hopefully the game will not crash. If it does crash, I don't know what else to do. Um, I mean, except wait for a response. So hopefully it's not going to crash because I do want to have something out for tomorrow. No man's sky related. I do have other things that I can put in the slot temporarily, but I don't want to. Not yet. Uh, not unless I have to. Okay, for a second there, I thought it was going to crash. Okay, everything's fine. Shall we explore? Now, the new update makes pirates a little bit more difficult to fight against. So we're going to be testing that out while we go and uh, potentially scan this. Plated moon! Okay, so that means hexagonal, I believe. Alright, hostile ships first, quickly. I'm pretty sure we're going to get scanned again, but... Okay, there's just the one by the looks of things. Uh, all right, let's see how. M oh, is it one? Okay, it does do more damage, I think. For some reason, oh my god, my mouse actually got stuck. Sorry, on my other monitor. Okay, wow. Well, I have to admit the AI is better, definitely. 
All right, let's go to the plated one. It's still, uh, sort of worthless to fight them, though. I don't know. It's just... That Hello Games just needs to do an overhaul of the combat system. But I know that's not top priority because, again, this is not really a game for combat. Sorry about that, we're just quickly clearing my throat, and I suppose we can land anywhere. Hopefully, we will not crash. Weird thing is, I've had this issue happen a very long time ago, as I said, with the living ship, but it was happening when I was trying to land on planets, uh, not when trying to take off from them. Uh, so that is uh, interesting, to say the least. You now, traveling in this place is going to be interesting. Because there's a lot of these. So I'm potentially going to need just one of each if I'm going to go for all. I really will not need two because there's 11 of them. They should be way more than enough. Uh, yes, we do have a base here. I will not be able to spot it. This is very dense vegetation. And we're going to just do this system and then we're going to do some quick server missions that will send us to different systems. So hopefully we will find more anomalous worlds there. We're gonna start uh, branching out basically. Uh, I did press 2. Oh, All right, it was over here. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna start, you know, a little bit more diversity so it's not just me hunting anomalies, glitches, even though this is what I kind of want to do at the moment because I do want to finish the base. I'm sorry for my voice, it's just it's, it's off today again. Truly sorry. Should have had some tea before. It does actually help. I guess it's probably just the warm, the warmness of the beverage, but it does help. I am really hoping I find one of these quickly. We had a planet. Uh, sorry, we had a problem with these, I believe, recently. So, uh. oh, they were glowing red, weren't they? Yeah, they were glowing slightly reddish. If I recall correctly, maybe I should stop for a second and just look. You know what? I will scan you. I do like these. These are probably my favorite anomalous animal. Okay. Nope. Nada. Okay, let's uh, go look about. Alright, there is something. Okay, it has. It wasn't this bad a moment ago. My voice. Uh, so I finished recording a little bit. Oh, there's one. A little bit earlier today, and yeah, it was I had to clear my throat once or twice in half an hour, which was fine. But this, this world. So again, truly sorry, especially if anybody, uh, if I accidentally don't mute myself. Yes, I know you'll investigate, but I need the hexplate bush. Okay, let's go away now. Because I really don't want to fight the Sentinels. Well, I'm not really going to fight them. I don't want to have to wait the 40 seconds or whatever that I'll have to wait. So our ship is not here. I'm going to have to actually summon it. There's our freighter. And let's summon the buggy. Because it's, it's key bound. It's easier for me to summon it. Plus, I only need it for a couple seconds. Okay, so the camera is off again. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, is this? It is! Lovely, I like this. Can I have more, please? Just like, just give me a couple of them in a row or whatever. I just fill a room with them and let me just have fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, so much fun can be had. I'm a simple individual. I do like just certain things and they're very fun to do. Everybody gets a different kick out of a different game. You know, actually, I was saying this uh, a couple of days ago, that the reason No Man's Sky is interesting uh, is for every person different. Which is why it's interesting. <laughs> you know, some people choose to explore, some people choose to just fly ships, some people just choose to go to all the galaxies, others... Oh, they want to be pirates. You can roleplay in this game. Uh, 
not very well. In fact, I even made the point that uh, I was really hoping that they would add frigates. I, I believe I have talked about this again. Flyable frigates for the player so that I can actually... Uh, I really want to do like a little bit of... Uh, that's on 29%. Or was it 39? It doesn't matter. It's going to be soon. And when it's at, at 100. Tame wild creatures. Oh, poof. Yeah, sure. Let's go do it. We'll do a couple of these. Like one or two or three. And it would be really nice. I probably would start a new playthrough. On permadeath merchant only. Uh, just making money. But just through trading. But I would need to forget. That would be really cool. Like just going from system to system, picking out trading routes, where you want to go, where you want to be, you want to land on that planet. Sorry, not on that planet, but on a station, and just buy this, all that. You know, it's, it, I think that would be interesting. At least for me, it would for a little bit. Nobody said that it's gonna be like 300 episodes, but you know, for like 10, 15, 20 -ish episodes, I think it would be kind of fun to do. But currently, I don't want to because. Yeah, you can get a hauler, but it's a hauler. It's it's not gonna be a frigate where, you know. Yeah, I will get a hauler initially when you start off because you're not gonna have a lot of money. But you know, eventually you will, and when you do, you buy a frigate and you start trading, which is kind of fun. There's a lot of things you can do. like. You can be an outlaw in this game, just get hated by everybody. Uh, by all the faction. Minotaur engine module. Oh, I think I need one. Do I have anything to actually sell? Uh, so, thermal protection upgrade. That's a, that's something I don't need. Exocraft cannon module. Do I need those? I don't remember. I bought them, obviously. I know the thermal module I do not need. Because I don't need any modules uh, for my person. For my character. Right, let's go tame some- ooh, what is that? We have been here. If that's scanned, I've been here. Okay, I have not been there, but it says Fauna Den, so yeah, it's not gonna be an anomalous one. That's fine. We will eventually find all the glitches. I guess I can go and place these at least, temporarily. I can always, like, move them around if I don't like them, so yeah. It doesn't matter where we are as so long as we are on the light side of the planet, just so I can spawn some animals, aka fauna. That is abandoned. Yeah, that is abandoned. You know, it's absolutely fine. We can always just land here. Hopefully, uh, the game will not crash. <laughs> uh, all right, let's. Have some animals, not birds though. We, we we can't feed birds for some reason in this game. We can feed everything else, just not birds. Give me bird feed. Okay. Uh. Oh wow, that is all. Well, that's gonna be easy if they don't scare. Yeah, they're gonna scare away. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Do I have it? Scented herbs. Do I have scented herbs? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on, scroll. Okay, I really didn't want it to hit there, but at the same time, I didn't want to move. Uh, because if I move out, I would have scared them off. That is a lot of animals. I don't think they can get to it. Okay, let me actually help. There's no sentinel here, right? Okay, that should help, right? No, only three have gotten it. Alright, you know what? Here's one more. Go to that one, please. Oh, they're not going to go to that one. Yeah, they're just going to keep vanishing. Oh, they are going to that one, because that one vanished. Okay, good. So I do need to make more scented herbs now. Where's my neutrino processor? There it is. So scented herbs, if I recall correctly, it's star bulbs, which I don't have a lot of. Yes, a thousand is not a lot of. No, that's fermented fruit. What was scented herbs? I... Hmm. Was it gamma root? Yeah, it was gamma root. Okay, you know what? Let's just make like five or six. That was eight. That was a total of eight. That is amazing. Now, if you can only get a couple more, uh, because it's... Oh, it's not going to be a nighttime. There's just a big cloud. Hmm. Huh. Right, there is a sentinel nearby, but I don't care. They're not aggressive on this world, I believe. Yeah, they're not. So I am either just waiting for these to reset, 
Or those are birds. Yeah, those are birds. Oh, there's more over there. So, give me six. It's absolutely fine. You know, build more. Sorry, make more. Cook more. Oh yeah, we're done here. That was probably the easiest one. Now I was missing some. Oh no, I'm not missing some. I'm actually missing creature pots. Meat you don't need uh, because those only go for predators. And predators are not needed for this mission completion. In fact, you don't feed the predators. It specifically states herbivores. Now these all give me milk apparently. Uh, just milk. Got milk. All right, of course I don't have free slots in my suit inventory. Uh, <laughs> why would I? Well, I guess I can destroy this. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but you know what? Sure, that's fine. You know what? Take me to my ship. They look like cows, just smaller than a cow with, I guess, a longer tail. They are nice though, shiny, shiny scaly skin. Ah, oh, they have these, like, oh, that one has, like, something on its side, oh. Oh, so does that one. That's fine, you and your toxic protection. Oh, what are you supposed to be? I actually want to see now. What are you? Like, seriously, what are you? Look at that! Let me actually get the sun here. Like a little bit over there, I suppose. Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful creature. Alright. We're done with the mission. It looks like this planet has a lot of nice creatures. Well, the two I've seen are really good. Alright. Let's, uh... Go to the Nexus. Please don't crash. <laughs> Generally, the crash would have happened a lot long before we even hit the lower atmosphere, so yeah, it wasn't gonna happen. My heart does stop for a second there when the game like freezes for a moment while it's generating, you know, the outside, so there is that. But still, All right. I guess we have time for one more at least. Depending on what it is. Actually, you know what? I'm happy with taming creatures. You know what? Give me taming creatures. I want to look at more creatures. Sometimes the generation is very amazing. I want to see a plan with huge creatures. To go and tame them. Hunting dangerous pirates. Sure, sure. At the very least, we'll test the new AI better. They supposedly do more damage as well and whatnot. Why not? Let's go. I have room. I have room. I have star soap. Yep. Sure. Let's go. Come on. And we're off. So yeah, but I have, I believe, made, I have, believe, uh, mentioned this many times before. Why I dislike the, the actual fighting. It's just, it doesn't feel good. Alright, so it looks like we are not going to have an anomalous. No, 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 no. Oh no, I did scan! Oh boy. I was like, wait a minute, we're not supposed to get this yet. It's kind of far away, but that's fine. Okay. That was a couple of them. It's just because the AI seems to turn a lot quicker than you, and not just that. Of course, the AI is going to be more accurate, that's, you know, sure. But they seem to be turning unnaturally quick, considering I have a fighter. Which is supposed to be the most maneuverable ship. I guess maybe the Exocraft is more maneuverable. I'm not entirely sure. And ambushed. Like, look at that. Okay. Oh, overheat. The reason I'm stopping is because I am actually faster than them. Just not... Like, look at that. That was basically an instant turn. Oh, I stopped. Stop, halt. Okay, there it is. Uh, where's the other one? There it is. And dead. Um, I was saying something, but meow, meow, I have no idea what it was. Alright, back up. 
There it is. I just need to see that so I can ambush them. Oh, I was too far away. Well, at least I killed one of them. In a straight up fight, they cannot. They cannot survive against me unless my weapon overheats. And I'm not gonna switch to another weapon because it doesn't take too long for it to actually remove the heat. To disperse it. I don't know why the weapons overheat though. I mean. I get it if uh, they don't get enough energy, you know, like you run out of batteries or whatever, you need to recharge, sure, but overheating, really? I mean, come on. Oh, I might... I can't believe that missed, by the way. I'm gonna go for another one. Okay, I actually got the other one. Like, I know I'm doing a, a turn on full speed and that's why I'm a little bit slower here, but most of the time I'm not. I'm actually intentionally slowing myself down so I can do a quicker turnaround, but... Uh, yeah, look at that. Okay. And it glides a little bit for some reason. Like, I don't know why. It should just level off as soon as I stop moving in that general direction. Oh, uh, too much complaining about space combat in this game, I know. That's that's why, you know, that's one of the reasons I don't do it. Oh, I think I missed the entrance, that's fine. I can just make my own. Okay, there it is. And that box server mission is complete. So, tomorrow... Yes, I'm gonna be ending things off in a little bit, just so everybody knows we're not gonna do any more Quicksilver missions. Um, Tomorrow we're going to start off with the Quicksilver mission, hopefully it'll take us to another system where we can potentially search for glitches. We should have two, I believe, tomorrow when I actually start recording. That's going to be something good. And that's going to be two more missions, and hopefully two more Anomalous Worlds, two more glitches uh, to find for our base. Now the game hasn't crashed, this is the newest update, so I have to say that there was probably something bugged out about that planet. Uh, I'm not sure what. I am not a modder. I am not a coder. You know, I, I don't understand this stuff a lot. Like, I, I know basic stuff, and that's about it. Maybe not even basic. But thing, it just happened. It might happen again. You know, again, this is a snowman sky, and we are playing modded, considering that technically the game doesn't support mods, if I recall correctly. So, so yeah, you take a risk, you know, sometimes there'll be a crash, big deal, it happens. Anyway, I've been the Rampant Mystic, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.